Two days after she surrendered, Luann Aponte walked into a Travis County courtroom in a jail jumpsuit today, handcuffed. Looking on were her ex-husband, her children, and some of the people she's accused of stealing from. Aponte is charged with taking more than $1 million from the nonprofit Family Connections Organization during her time as executive director. $183,000 from another children's charity and close to $7,000 from Hyde Park Christian Church. KXA and Shannon Wolfson is there live with more on how that congregation is trying to move forward. Shannon? Robert, the Apontes attended church services here at Hyde Park Christian Church for many years, and Luann Aponte served as treasurer for the congregation's charitable outreach fund. But investigators say she reached into that fund herself and stole close to $7,000 that was meant for other charitable organizations. It is hard. It is hard. It was a very sad experience for, for all of us. From the same pews where Luana Ponte once listened to sermons, Reverend Jacqueline Baker Hammett is preaching forgiveness to her congregation. We're inclined to trust. We want to trust and we want to see the best in, in everyone. And so, yes, it's, it's, it's hard to take. Hard to take because Luana Ponte was one of them. Investigators say she stole close to $7,000 from a church fund meant for charity between May 2006 and November of last year. The money, donated by members of the congregation, was intended for organizations like Safe Place, Habitat for Humanity, Meals on Wheels, and others. We'd like to see the money used for the purpose for which it was intended. I understand there are many other um, persons in line for restitution. But even with Luana Ponte's return to Travis County this week, recovering and returning any stolen money to the church fund may be difficult. I can tell you that she has amassed no wealth. Luana Ponte's attorney says there's no stash of money to be found. The Aponte's home, car, and boat have all been seized, along with three bank accounts. I think we need to take steps to make sure that things like this don't happen again. For other charitable organizations, that is the lesson, she says, beyond forgiveness. We are stewards of this money that is intended for other purposes, and so it's our responsibility to make sure that the money is used as it was intended. And to do that here, Reverend Baker Hammett says the church has restructured its overall finances. In fact, the outreach fund is now overseen as part of the church's overall budget. As for Luana Ponte, she is scheduled to make her next court appearance in January. We're live in Central Austin tonight. Shannon Wolfson, KXAN Austin News.